How do you do, my friends and people everywhere, mothers and fathers and teachers, boys and girls, men and women, children? I am the professor. Julia Sumner Miller is my name, and we do physics. And we are engaged in understanding the paradox of Pascal, where with three vases of different shapes, but identical bottoms, we find a strange thing unfold. The pressures are the same, the forces are the same on the bottoms of these vessels. Now, to show it to you experimentally, I am taking a vessel that looks like that one, flared out, and I'm taking one that looks like this one flared in. Let me first use the small one. I put it on a screw fitting here, so I can put water into it from a chamber here. There is water there. And this marker will just uh, give us the level to which the water will be put in both vessels. I bring this higher and water comes in. Whoop, 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 whoop. Notice I have to regulate it. And so if we sometimes always some problem with the valve, and now, if we read that, it reads something. I'll have to get around here to read it. It reads 45 very nearly. With the water to this depth, remember 45. I don't care what the units are. It reads 45. Now, uh, I call to your attention, even though you cannot see it, I assert, I depose and swear on oath that the water level in this vessel is the same as in there. And the expression is water seeks its own level, which I don't like at all, because that tells us nothing. Now I'm letting the water out of this one. And I'll move the marker away, and I'll take this off. And now I'm going to put the big one on. Now you know that this big one has vastly more water in it than this one. Ten times or more. And yet the force on the bottom and the pressure on the bottom will be the same as before. Now I know what some of you are hoping in your little hearts. You are saying, I hope it reads more, and then all that Pascal said is wrong, but better for your little hearts, better all that I've said is wrong. But I've been wrong before. Watch it. Notice a little quiet mood, hoping that it does what I want it to do. But I don't have to worry about it. Nature is absolutely dependable. It is man who fails. I'm taking the water up. And now, now the water climbs, the water climbs, the water climbs. And now somebody says, oh, it'll read much more than before. I may have to get some, I don't know, I may have to get some more water. That's about it. That's about it. No, oh, that's a little over. Oh, oh, that's a little over. Oh, I mustn't, I mustn't cheat you or nature. I have to come up a little bit, a little bit. <clears throat> what does it read? Oh, it reads a little more. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm a little over. Do you see, this is pretty critical. This is pretty... Now, now it's about right. Well, hard to get it exactly. Hard to get it exactly. But don't let the mechanism destroy your faith in nature. Because machinery and gadgets and gadgets are one thing, and nature is another. And the proof of this now lies in the following argument. Here, the walls support the extra water. Here, the walls push on the water with a force at right angles to the wall, which has a component that way and a component that way, and it's all those little components vertically down which add to the push on the bottom. So Pascal's paradox is resolved, and we must pay tribute to this little French boy whose genius was one of the highest in all of French history. He died, as they say, a philosopher, a mathematician, a genius. And I thank you for watching.